Hey guys, Artosis here with some more Race Survival Series. We are down to the last three players of the races. We have Light having taken down Soma with just some absolutely ridiculous micro in that last TVZ. If you haven't seen that game, turn this off and go watch it, but then come back and watch this one. Uh, and he is going up against the last of the Protoss. It is best. We're on the map Allegro, a really great macro map for the matchup. And these two both known for having superior macro in this matchup as well. So should be a wonderful game. Hope you guys are enjoying. Again, a big shout out to the guys over at StarCast TV, especially Cruiser, for hooking me up with this season of the Race Survival Series. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's been a pleasure to cast. Uh, I've enjoyed every moment, so cheers, guys. And thank you, everyone, for watching here on our Toast's Cast. Please do follow, subscribe, hit that notification button, give an upvote, all those wonderful things. Thank you for watching. All right. Let's see what these guys are up to. Gateway here from Bess. He's going to go ahead and scout. Uh, on light side, let's see where the barracks goes. Okay, so it looks like it'll be a factory expansion. Uh, you can just kind of tell because he's making the barracks in the main base. If you wanted to go for a gasless expand, you'd make it down here uh, to help make a Sim City with your command center. So, yeah, definitely going for that factor. I think it's a good choice. Light up here. I mean, uh, best up here. We'll see what time he gets his gas. If he wants to go, you know, there are a lot of builds right now, like uh, Zealot Expand. The double pylon into gas is something we definitely see as well. Kind of a more economic Zealot opener. This is a Zealot opener. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> My voice is breaking. I'm going through puberty again. Uh, but it is a Zealot opener. Of course, you can tell because the gas isn't so fast. Uh, but yeah, throws that gas down as well, just in due time. Light going to be able to scout best first. So that's actually a nice little advantage to know that the Zealot is coming ahead of time. We can see exactly how he wants to uh, prepare for that. Because there's a few different ways to go about it. Uh, you can go up to, like, four Marines and get the bunker as quickly as possible. Or you can make a third depot and just kind of go Marine, just like non-stop Marines for a little bit. And you can kind of, you don't have to try to rush to get a bunker out. And it's like, it's basically less risky, but Light has such good micro, he can really choose any route that he wants. Second Marine coming, so already walking across the map. You see the Cybernetics core coming up as well. Here comes the probe from Bess, going to join up with the Zella. And of course, yeah, you do have to bring two probes to the ramp to hold on. You have that second SCV almost there. And best should turn around here. It's like you can fight like a couple hits, but you don't even honestly want to lose all your shields because even if you're taking hull damage, nothing's going to be permanent here. You just repair these SCVs. It's a complete hold. It does, you know. You don't want to actually, if you go for early Zealots, you don't want to lose them against Terran unless they do damage. And if they're not going to kill attacking units, Terran can do a counterattack against you at high levels, so definitely something good to avoid. Now, we have one Dragoon on the way. Notice no, it's hard to see, but no range upgrade. So this is a very, very, very fast Nexus. And this is three Depot. Uh, so th yeah, he goes three Depot and actually doesn't get the Vulture. He goes add-on first, and it looks like he just wants to go four Marines into his Command Center. So his Command Center is not that much later. Just a little bit. It's not It's not a huge deal. Like, I would say that the way that these two builds measure up, Best's is a little bit better. He's got, like, a small edge. Of course, it doesn't make the biggest difference here. Uh, but there was possibly potential, if he made the Vulture before add-on, for Light to do a little bit of a counterattack. Now, that being said, he might actually still go for that. Notice how he's making a fifth Marine. The fact that he's making a fifth marine but no second factory yet tells me that he's going to move out with this tank. Uh, so it should be a little marine siege tank push. He knows that the range upgrade isn't going to be done yet. So this army is going to like really kill dragoons, like super dead. Best is just going to have to run away from it. Looks like he's going to wait for the second tank. Yeah, this is a pretty rare build. Uh, he'll probably start mines here relatively soon as well. But we'll see about that. This is like a, a much, yeah, there it is. So this is a much older build that Light used to use like three years ago. He used this opener a lot against a lot of different openers uh, from Protoss, where he just kind of pushes out, kills a couple goons maybe, if if Protoss messes up at all, lays some mines, and just gets some good intel. 
it's a nice little pressure play after your expansion. So here we go. Six Marines, two siege tanks. Mines on the way. Vultures rallied. This SCV was checking for a possible third base. Of course, if you did take a third base in this situation, light will actually deal a lot of damage because you had to skip extra stuff. But two gate Dragoon is coming. Starting to pick off what he can. You want to bring those Marines right back to the siege tanks when the Dragoons have their range upgrade. Oh, look at this SCV going up to get uh, in the way of rallies. And the Zealot going to go fight. So the Zealot not being used here. Look at this targeting from light. Up comes the Vulture as well. Just going to lay some mines here. Targets down the first mine with the Zealot. Absolutely love it. The probes, though, going up for a surround. But the Dragoons all die. Oh, my God. He's going to catch the Siege Tank. And that was insane micro on both sides. Now, the Siege Tank didn't run away immediately. So, okay, he's he is going to get away without a problem. Best is, you know, he's got to be careful not to run into mines or anything. So, playing a bit, little bit more safely is going to back up. Uh, as the Observer comes out, of course, he can start to clear this a little bit. But we already have Siege on the way. Armory is done. eBay coming up. Second Factory. Uh, so, everything pretty clean here for Light. He's only down three workers at the moment. I mean, that's a nice little advantage for Best, I guess. Who does take his third base. And look at how close this base is. This is not a very far uh, push distance, I have to say. So this is... It's kind of in your face. But I think it'll be all right here because the type of build that he just played against, he knows that the second factory is a bit slow. And now his Observer getting in, seeing that the second factory is just now finishing. There's an Armory spinning. There's an eBay coming up. And, of course, Best is going into Reaver Tech. Uh, yeah, it this this isn't going to get punished anytime soon. Like, there's definitely a possibility this gets killed off before it mines out, but he's definitely going to get value out of the base, at least. Uh, Light is forced to play a much more turtled position after that initial pressure because of how slow that additional factory was and everything. So, some missile turrets coming up. Goliath's popping out. Uh, getting the range upgrade as well. So this looks like a very uh, late game oriented opener or continuation, I guess, is really what we should be saying because it was a pressure opener. Uh, but when you get the Goliaths with range and you have the armory going, basically it just slows down any attack timings that you may have. Like he could sit on two base and just build up factories and still do one. But a lot of the times builds like this go into 2-1 uh, timings, which are generally three base. And then it's like, do you actually have a timing there? Oh, they went side storm. Okay, you don't take a fourth. That type of thing. Observer, keeping an eye on that factory count. No academy as of yet for our Terran player. Taking a look up here. We do have the first shuttle with Reaver coming. Oh, he can actually, he can do a little bit here. There's no anti-air in this area right now. Of course, Light doesn't even know if there's going to be a Reaver. Now he does. Drops out the Zealot to eat those shots. Oh, nice run. Doesn't actually kill any SCVs. Putting a mine down, but of course, you can just drop the Zealot on top of that if you want. And as the Goliath comes over and Best sees that, that's probably it for right now. He is getting speed for his shuttle, so we definitely can see some more harassment once that's done, especially considering a second shuttle is on the way. All right, kind of interesting Dragoon placements, maybe looking for... You know, a dropship coming out the bottom always could be the case. It's like uh, this turret catches the observer. And yeah, there is the starport. So he is going up into that. Should have a science facility somewhere. Ah, there it is. Vulture speed as well. More gateways being added here from best. Plus one attack on the way. Is getting his fourth base as well, which is, I would say, completely safe at this point. And, yeah, there's the third CC. So, we're really starting to get a feel for what this game is going to look like. It does look like it's just going to go into a very large macro game. Oh, my God! That was a huge mine. That was an amazing mine. It's going to walk in here. It does have that range upgrade. So, yeah, the shuttle has to get out immediately. I would say, even though he has range uh, Goliaths, he needs to start putting a few more turrets. Honestly, you could use, like, three turrets in this general area. Uh, he does have one near the CC, which is really helpful for if he dives. But you definitely don't want the Reavers coming back and harassing the depots more either. 
All right, dropship is out. Let's see if he can get something done with his vultures. There are, there is already a cannon here, and not a full Sim City. So yeah, definitely some probe kill potential in there. Uh, okay. <laughs> the vultures just kind of running up. I I think that these are like this one was to spot if anything was here, so the dropship could get in, and then he's just kind of drawing attention. So definitely worthwhile. Vultures get dropped into the main base. And look at that. Oh my god. He made a little wall here with this pylon. That wasn't, like, this was probably planned by him to make sure that if a vulture drop came, like, look, where do you get through? You actually can't get the vultures out of this zone. Wow, what a cool, what a cool play. But then redrops these two vultures here at the third base. And I mean, he gets a little bit done. The mines actually do all right here as well. And this vulture is somehow still alive. Very cool little tiny mini things going on in this game. Now let's let's take a quick look here. Light doesn't have his comm sets yet. And he's actually on 47 SCVs. It's not bad for two base, but he's going to need to bring that SCV count up for his third. Those additional turrets, one, two, three, being built. Has plus two, plus one on the way. Starting to push out with these tanks now. All right, does pop one of those reavers. Nice. Other one being walked back. Learning from his friend's demise. And look at this. Speed is done for best. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is actually very scary. There's not many vultures yet. Just a small, small handful at the moment. Yeah, trying to get the Reaver really out of here. Honestly, picking off vultures here is fantastic for best. Okay, you will end up losing the Reaver and the shuttle. Uh, but the speed zolts are going to be a problem. Look, there's another group coming. So this is this is a serious amount. There's 12, and there's another 10. So that's 20 speed zolts. Right now, we have five vultures. Okay, he's going to start clearing mines. This is going to be a little bit tough. I can see best doing a lot of damage here. Okay, here we go. Those speed zots gonna get in on top of everything. Here comes a shuttle as well, dropping. Oh my god, the destruction is serious. This command center looks like it's gonna fall. And so many siege tanks being taken out. See if he actually ends up getting this command center or not. It looks like there's just no way to save it. Way too much damage. The observer gonna give him vision, even as it tries to go to high ground. So down goes the third CC. Now all the zealots got cleaned up, all the shuttles died. But a decent group of Dragoons gets out. I think that Light's only option is a counterattack. He has two one upgrades. He's got, what is this, seven factory? That's decent. He's got a vessel here. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a possibility he can get something done with a counter. And I don't think that there's a possibility that he can make another command center and win this game. Because Best should be getting out of control. Look at this. He's taking the bottom left main. I'm sure he's going to try to take the bottom right main pretty soon. And any window for attack... Well, I mean, look at the supply anyways. 160 already? God. <laughs> it's brutal, man. Like, one of those attacks works on Terran, and it just feels like you are done. But really, I I, I don't think this can go into a macro game from, uh, from Light. Now, look at this. A suicide drop with the storms. Tons of SCVs here. Oof. Down to 35 now. I think we are now watching the very last Terran player in week number nine get eliminated. It does look like Best is going to be fighting against Solki for uh, for the championship here. All right. Let's see if Light has some sort of miracle up his sleeve. Throws down a defense matrix. The Vulture's doing a pretty good job. The upgrades on the tanks really paying off, but... Storms coming everywhere, a big spread. The Zealots getting move commanded on top of these siege tanks as well. Okay, Light honestly did really well there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, the endless macro coming out of best at this point. Look at this, a counterattack coming out towards that third base. He is going to try to punish this very close by third. Yeah, targeting those siege shanks as well. Ooh, that was a nice mind drag, and that has to be it. GG, best takes down the last Terran in life.